my darling and welcome 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 now today I thought it'd be fun to give you a luxury makeover using some of my favorite products that are more on the high end area of the spectrum and as these are some of my favorites I wanted to share them with you and we can just relax together while we apply your makeup before we do any makeup I just want to make sure that you're sitting nice and comfortably you okay? good and I also wanted to do a little bit of skincare nothing too extreme because I can see that your skin is nice and clear there's no makeup which is great but just a quick two-step skincare routine before we get started and I'm just gonna start off by using this glow recipe watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner and this stuff I try to use very sparingly because in fact, I think I need to buy the full size because I just had this as a sample But it's really good at shrinking any of your pores Making the skin look totally flawless It also smells like watermelon, which is a bonus I'm just going to pat this into the skin nice and gently now when you're wearing your makeup do you tend to go for a more full coverage look okay and in terms of colors on your eyes and on your lips what do you like to use there do you more of a neutral tone girl or do you like a bit of color as well Okay, well, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go with what I think would look best for you today um, But feel free to be honest with me if you don't like any of the colours and we can make some changes Okay And the next is a highly essential step I don't think everyone does it though I like this one specifically because it is a great SPF so this is SPF 50 this is also water resistant and also works really nicely as a base for makeup super hydrating and really sinks into the skin quite beautifully um, Circle that in. Okay, and now for some foundation, and this is my all-time favourite foundation This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation And I've picked out the colour for you today, Patagonia I think that's going to suit your skin quite nicely We're just going to use a couple of pumps on the back of the skin skin back of the hand and what I like about this foundation is that it's very nice coverage okay so it's going to conceal any blemishes any dark circles any redness and 
has a fairly matte finish but also has radiance to it you know when a lot of matte foundations can sometimes look very drying and can crease very easily that's not the case with this foundation it is just a beautifully silky formula and looks wonderful when sitting on the skin I think this colour match is perfect as well, by the way, which is good. use this to brighten up certain areas okay and this is the radiant green concealer another one of my favorites in the shade custard foundation and your concealer it's time to add a bit of color back into the skin and first up I'm going to use another one of my favorites this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand in the shade medium I think it is fair medium So I think it's now time that we set everything in place with some powder. We're going to use the Huda Beauty loose powder in the shade Banana Bread. Again, this is a holy grail powder for me. It is sublime. Honestly, the best powder I think I've ever tried in my life. And I've been through a fair few. Okay. 
everything under the eyes say it again, another one of my favourites. Okay, I'm just blending them out. I'm going to look like a sculpted goddess once I'm through with you. rose shade, which I think is going to complement your skin tone really, really nicely. Blending her out. Stunning. shades to choose from. We've got this slightly pinkier shade, which is Chic Freak, and then we've got this more subtle pink shade, which is Girl Next Door. Do you have a preference, or shall I just go in with what I think would look best? Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. One cheek and two cheek. Don't want to add too much as otherwise it can look a bit dazzling and just want to make sure that it adds a nice radiant glow to the skin, nothing more. Okay, let's next do your brows. I'm gonna use this BFF, BFF Brow Friends Forever by the Beauty Crop. Now this is the best, best, best brow gel I've ever used and it's very cheap as well. I think I buy this for about five pounds on Amazon. Maybe a little bit more than that now because it has become a bit more popular but the Beauty Crop is seriously very good, affordable makeup brand I think. And Comb through those brows to set them in place. Stunning. And then I've got this Refi brow pencil. And I just want to 
filling those brows ever so slightly because you have got naturally very gorgeous brows. This is just going to add a bit more definition. too crazy because I just want to enhance your natural beauty. I don't want to be distracting away from that at all. So I think this will be the perfect palette. This is the Hawaii, Hawaii BH Cosmetics. Well, it's called the Hangin in Hawaii. And this is actually a brand new palette. I've not tried this one yet, but I do think the colour selection is just incredible. So many colours in here that I absolutely adore. So we have got one, two, three, four, five shimmer shades. And that must mean that the other eleven are matte shades. And I would attempt to pronounce all of the shade names, but they're quite difficult. Some of them are okay. So there's Hannah, ha Halekala, Wamea, Kila Yua, Mauna Kia, Lanai, Oahu, Aloha, I know that one, Coco Head, Molokini, Lanikai, Kawai, Maui, Kiki, Mahalo, and Honolulu. So I like that it's all very fitting with the Hawaiian theme, but I think I'm going to have to do some research on what all the shade names mean. But I'm thinking that we should go in with something like this. What's this one? Ah, oh, Molokini. But then having something like this in the crease. Lani Kai. Yeah, so it's going to be very, very warm. I'll have a matte shade in the crease and then shimmer in the centre of the lid. Just to make the eyes look really, really soft. Okay, on second thought, I think I prefer to go in with this shade here, which is Halikala compared to Lanakai. Lanakai is beautiful, but it's perhaps a bit darker than this one here. So I think just to keep it super soft, we go for this one in the crease. Really, really perfect. Okay. 
Monokini shimmer on the lid Pick that up with a flat brush this time And then I'm thinking instead of using a liquid liner to make the look even softer, we can go in with Honolulu, which is this deep plum shade, and just create an eyeliner effect with this flat angled brush. just look stunning on you. So next, just going to very, very carefully curl the lashes. And the other side. Good. And some mascara is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. One of the best mascaras I've tried. I'm just coating the lashes. is a lip gloss is also very very pigmented so we're just going to apply evenly across the lips wonderful and if you go to remind you that you are absolutely 
very beautiful before we did any of the makeup. This has just enhanced your natural beauty slightly. But remember that you are beautiful with or without the makeup, okay? Now thank you so much for giving me the pleasure of doing your makeup today. We need to do 